Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're up on Whistler Mountain riding with Chris. What's up, Chris? Hey. And uh, we're gonna go up, and it's a great day for doing some riding and some carving. We've got 10 tips that will hopefully help you guys improve your carving skills. You got some carving tips? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll make them up as we go. Okay, so the first tip for carving is find like a really mellow slope and then just slide your board down and then work on getting that edge into the snow and just seeing how far you can ride that edge for. So we got a nice little mellow part here. We give it a try. So once you can slide and get your edge into the snow, the second thing you can do is just practice doing an arc across the slope. So work on, yeah, just making a clean line in the snow as you go across. A quick safety tip is to always check uphill and make sure there's nobody riding down as you carve across. Chris is gonna give uh, some cross carves a try. All right, so Kevin asked me to do the third tip. So for this one, we're gonna concentrate on having a lot of bend in our knees on our toe side and really making sure that we dig that engine. For the fourth tip, I wanna make sure on our heel side that we're trying to sit down in our seat a lot as we're going across, so getting our butt nice and close to the ground. Awesome, so on Chris's toe carves, it really looked like he was bending his knees to get that toe edge into the snow. And then on the heel carve, he was, it was like he was sitting into a chair to get that heel edge dug in. I think heels, Probably the harder of the two edges to get dug into the snow. So where can people take it from here? Tip five, we're gonna wanna really exaggerate our sitting and our pushing our knees down into the snow on our turn. So on our heel side, trying to get your butt as low to the snow as possible. And then on our toe side, getting those knees really, really tight down. And hopefully by going too much, too much sitting, too much pushing down of our knees, then we'll be able to find that sweet spot in the middle where we're really maximizing our balance with our control, getting nice and low into the corners, into the carves. Kevin's gonna show us some good exaggeration on the next few carves here. You ready, right. Kevin? Yeah. More exaggeration. Oh, Ben Moore. Ben Moore. Moore, oh, honestly, you're falling over. Yeah, there we go. More, 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 more. <laughs> was low. Thank you. That was nice. I got so low I got my, my chin dragged in the snow. <laughs> Alright so tips one through five we're all focusing just on one turn at a time. So one single toe carve or one single heel and kind of making it more difficult as we went on. Right up until that last one we were trying to get right into it getting super low really deep into the Heel carve and really deep into the toes. Tip six is we're gonna start linking them together. So we've got like a really mellow green area right here. Go down, link some carves. And the thing I'm gonna be focusing on is just trying to make the carves the same size. And if they're not the same size, then my OCD kicks in. <laughs>
tip number seven, we're gonna head down here and we're actually gonna change our carved shape depending on the slope. So on the really mellow slopes, a bit bigger open carves and then when it's a bit steeper, we're gonna tighten up that carve, make it a bit smaller. And the way that you can change the shape of your carve is by steering your snowboard with your knees. So more aggressive steering through those tighter carves and just, yeah, more relaxed open steering through the mellower flat parts. All right, Chris is gonna give us a quick steering demo. Oh yeah, steer those knees. Steer those knees. Woohoo! Yes. Okay, so we got a flat section coming up. So Chris is gonna show us some long, stretched out carves. Can you tell I'm crossing my fingers? edges kind of suck. Tip number eight, make sure your edges are sharp otherwise they're just not going to hold and you're just going to slide out. They're not going to be gripping the ice in the hard pack. If you're going to be carving, sharpen those edges son! We're headed up to the peak chair and we're going to find some more difficult runs to carve on. Some black diamond carving. Take it up to the next level. That moon. Get that out. We're in a pretty cool spot here. This is the peak to creek run, and there are some pretty steep runs to get some good carves going. It sounds a bit icy, but we'll give uh, it our best go. Yeah, for the ninth tip, you really want to be balanced over your board, especially when you get into those higher speed carves. So having your hands over the nose and toe of your board and also, you know, keeping your knees bent, but also your back, you know, upright a little bit, which will keep your weight in the center of your board so that you're not leaning too far over your toes or you're standing too tall on your heels. Either way, that'll make you slip out. So for the tent tip, it's a good to get a good mental image of what your riding looks like somehow. Uh. For me, I like to go up either maybe with an etch -a sketch yep. and you can draw your friends doing it. Dry. Or water-based paints are really good. Uh, Oil-based, not so much. Let's not get too technical. Maybe they could just take a photo of their friend yeah. carving. Yeah, with one of those old school cameras that flips the image upside like down. Like a Polaroid, then you can have the image right away. Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, or even film it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, film yourself riding. It's a huge, like, super helpful tool. Film yourself, then you can look back and see exactly what your riding looks like. If you're balanced over your board, if you're holding that edge, you're making that line in the snow. And you got something cool to show your friends, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely film yourself if you can. You know, just get your phone out, get, get your friend to film, and it's a huge learning tool. I can definitely remember the first time I saw myself on camera snowboarding. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I still look terrible. One bonus tip, guys, is you want to bend your knees around each carve. And what this does is it relieves the pressure that builds on your board. So when you're going around a toe turn, pressure builds as you get to the middle of the turn. And so by bending your knees, you relieve that pressure and then when you start to come out of your turn, you can start to stand up tall again and then get ready to bend your knees as you go into the heel carve and relieve the pressure again. 
So constantly alternating, standing up tall between turns, and then bending your knees as you go around the turn to relieve that pressure. Does that make sense? Yeah. High, low, high, low, high, low. Perfect. So we'll get Chris to give us a demo. Awesome guys, so we're just on our way down. The sun's setting. It was an awesome day of carving. I hope those 10 tips will help you guys. And just a quick recap. When you start, just focusing on one turn at a time, either the heel or the toe. Any last uh, tips, Chris? Yeah, just not venturing too far out your comfort zone. So just progressing nice and slowly, getting comfortable with each thing and then moving on to the next. So if you're looking for more tip videos, make sure you check out the free ride playlist and subscribe because we're putting out new videos all the time to help you guys improve your snowboarding. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Chris, for helping. Be safe out there carving, and we'll see you in the next video soon. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>